guys, Cindy R here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm actually doing pretty well. Um, I want to talk today about this month's prompt for my creative year, and that prompt is um, style. Um, that is the topic of the month. And I have sat here and racked my brain and racked my brain and racked my brain about, you know, what am I going to do for style? And then I got thinking about it. And when I look at my art, um, I'm not where I want to be. So this is a book that I have that I've had for quite a long time. It's called A World of Artist Journal Pages. And it's got 1,000 plus artworks, 230 artists on, in 30 different countries. So I love this book because I pull it out for inspiration quite a bit. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to you about the style that I am just absolutely in love with and someday I'm going to achieve. Um, I have a bunch of pages here marked. And I just want to tell you what about these pages actually talks to me. This I love. I love the fact that there's different bold colors in the background. I love the fact that there's a bunch of writing. There's a few images in here. It's just, I don't want to call it chaotic because I don't think it's chaotic. Let me see if I can bring you in a little bit. There you go. Um, this artist is Dawn uh, DeVries Sokol, um, who is in Arizona. And I just, I love this style. That is one of the styles I'm really, really interested in. Um, going through this book, you know, there's all kinds of different styles in here. And let's go to the next one. This one is by Denise. I don't want to slaughter her name. She's in Belgium. Her last name is T-H-E-W-I-S-S-E-N. Look at these. These, I think, again, are amazing. But look what I'm drawn to. Look at all the writing. I love all the journaling around it. I love having just a few images here and there. This is just, you know, outlined out of the paint. Um, you know, more journaling. I just think it's amazing. Again, this is my style that I love. Let me go back up just a little bit. All right. Um, again, like I said, there's all kinds of styles in this book. All right, here's another one. This one to me is simplicity. To me, this is what I see when I see this. I love the fact that there's a lot of what I consider as white space. So basically a lot of space that's just got color with not a lot in the space. But then these, I, I just absolutely love it. It looks like they belong there. Um, to me, this is very interesting. It looks like it could be a lot of texture. It looks like I'd love to be able to feel these. Um, that's, I love this style. Absolutely love it. A um, few more. These are all just different styles in here. Okay, this. This to me is just completely amazing. I honestly don't believe I could ever do this type of art because number one, I don't like to sit and draw a bird. I have to actually have a picture of a bird to draw. <laughs> that sounds awful. Um, you know, I, I don't... I love this, but I don't do this, and I just think it's amazing. Here's another one. It says Creative Flow, and it's got all kinds of things on here. It's got paint, watercolor, a splash of paint color, a pen, creative process, be loose. Um, this is Living the Wildlife, this one here. Um, this one is just Finding My Style. It says I could draw berries and stems and leaves all day long. See, so... This is amazing. This is Julie Hamilton in uh, Whistler, British Columbia in Canada. So I find this just amazing. Again, could I do it? Mm, I don't know. Um, this is Jenny Billy. Absolutely love her style. There's, Like I said, there's tons and tons and tons of styles in here. Right? Okay, this is the next one. Um, the first thing you see, what do you see? Pop. Color. To me, this is just, oh, this is really cool. There is so much color and there is so much going on in this picture. Um, you know, you got a couple clouds here, you got a piece of scrapbook paper here, you got some doodles and doodles and more doodles, and you've got some words, um, an actual saying, there's a window. I mean, it just, to me, I love this. If I could accomplish making a page like this, I would be in heaven. I think this is amazing. And this is Kate Crane. 
um, out of Ripon, North Yorkshire in the UK. And I just absolutely love it. Here's two more of her pieces too. And I just think they're amazing. Um, let's see. Like I said, here's more styles. I'm not going to go through the whole book, but if you'd like to purchase the book, um, I will put the information on the book in the description box. Okay. Another one. Here we go. This is... Um, I love this. I love this. You know, she she she's not doing realistic, which I think is fabulous because I, I'm getting so I can't really do realistic either. I just don't practice enough. But I love the fact that there's so many colors in the background. The background is busy. There's things going on. Um, you know, there's washi tape, there's drips, there's doodles, there's, you know, a figure. I just, I absolutely love this style. You know, I think to myself, why can't I do that? Well, I could, but I don't see that kind of stuff. Um, this style right here that I just passed, this is something I have only dreamt of being able to do. I would love to be able to sit like this and sketch. I think it's just amazing. Um, I just, I don't have that sketching ability unless I really, really, really started practicing. Um, this one here. Uh, this is Hannah Anderson from Sweden. And I think this is really neat. I love the, this one here especially. I love the fact that there's so many different colors in it. There's so many different doodles in it. And then you have this lovely unrealistic bird, which I think is really cool, with all these dots in them. You've got some washi tape, and it says, I need to find my way. And I just, I'm really, I love this page. I think it's amazing. So I don't know what you call this style that I'm looking at, but this is my, where I'd like to get to. And it's just going to take me a lot more practice. Okay, if you look at these pages, what do you see? I instantly see busy, and I love it. I love the fact that there's so much going on in the background and in the foreground that it, it just makes for such a cool page. Again, here, this one has so much writing on it. This is uh, Ardeth Goodwin, who lives in Alabama, here in the United States. But look at this. It's just amazing. She's got so much journaling and... Um, just different words in the background, so many colors, so many doodles. This is just fabulous. I absolutely love it. Do we, are we seeing a theme here? <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, here we are. What do I, okay, I marked this page. It has to be for these, probably this page. I think it's this page. This is from Carla Dixon and Lacey Washington. And again, the same thing. So many different colors in the background, a bunch of doodles, a bunch of odd and end washi tape, um, you know, some, some cutouts for magazines, a very unrealistic little kitty cat, which I love, and just some journaling, basically. Um, I think it's amazing. Another one. What do we see? The same thing. So, I th <laughs> as I'm sitting here talking about this and I'm seeing the same thing over and over again, I'm thinking, you know, I just really need to start working on this kind of stuff. Um, this page, again, so many colors. I absolutely love it. Um, they're actually blended together really well. Same here. This page I think is awesome because, you know, you've got white space here, but you have all this movement going on inside these, um, these doodles. I love it. Same here. I mean, there's just so much. It doesn't have to make sense, but to me it makes sense. So it's things like this that, I don't know, I just, again, there's so many more styles in here. Same thing. Right here. Love it. Absolutely love it. This is from Melanie Statnick out of Wilson, North Carolina. Amazing. Just amazing. You know, again, so many more styles. This, I love because of the brightness. I love the fact that there's a lot of white in these. 
Um, this is Marsha Beckett out of Madison, Wisconsin. And she uses watercolors, acrylic paint, collage images, pens, markers, gel sticks, photocopies of her own artwork, stickers, and tape. And I just think it's cool. Isn't that cool? Now, I know some people are going to look at this and say, Ugh, I don't like these styles. That's okay. It's all good. I am just showing you what my style that I love is. Again, a lot of journaling. Totally um, random. I love it. Same here. This is just, it's beautiful. Look, you've got three main colors plus your black. And that's just awesome. And it runs to this page, but yet yeah, this page is totally different. But then you put them together, they tie together. Whoops, where am I? That's what I was talking about, three different colors. I'm gonna go back up just a little bit so you guys can see it. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Love them, absolutely love them. Just love the fact that there is so much going on. There's so many doodles. There's just, it's just amazing. Look at this. To me, it's just, it looks so much fun and it looks so free and it looks so loose and just absolutely gorgeous. I love this. Um, this is from Robin Marie Smith in Port Orange, Florida. Love it. Absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. Um, let's see, I have one more in here, I think. Yes. Okay, this one here, this is a pipe dream. <laughs> Um, I have never been able to sketch like this. And I think they call this urban sketching. And it's where you go somewhere and hang out and then just sit and draw what you see. Um, this is Chris Buckholtz from New Oxford, Pennsylvania. And this is something I strive for. I would love to be able to sit somewhere and do this type of drawing sketching not drawing sketching i think it's amazing so there you go there is my style for um my creative year uh let me know your thoughts on it what do you think about the style um is there something that a st certain style that you like do you like shabby chic do you like um earth tones and vintage what what kind of style do you like i'd love to find i'd love to hear and i'd love to see what you think you know your style your heart tells you what style you love. So don't forget, check out all the other artists this month. We have so many different videos coming out throughout the month. Um, don't forget to check them out. We've got Gina Ahrens. We've got Leslie McGrath. We have Vicki Brown at Messy Table Studios. We have Peg Robinson. You know, check them all out. Uh, Lisa Swank. She's another one that does some great videos for us. So, um, as always, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.